welcome back to the channel in today's video the return of sunset peninsula raceway in forza motorsport um it's a track i know nothing about it's my first time seeing it as i've never played a previous uh, motorsport title up until for motorsport 23 um and this is my like my first take on it I just did my practice uh, and my first race wanted to record my first interaction with this track honestly it was quite nice since the R class open is still available when the update uh, was um, out and about I decided to use the Porsche since this car is just meta is meta can be even through the section where i made a mistake by going into the wall and getting overtaken by the beast of a car i hate the fact that meta cars honestly exist in the game yeah it's it's going to happen with like the variety of cars we do have but I can't believe, like, even a someone in my skill, which I would call, is like a very, very, extremely noob race driver. Um, I managed to get some podiums. I managed to do good. It's just that um, when it comes to rain or with racing, I'm not as good as I would like to be. So like confident with the car but going into this high speed section really reminds me of the Daytona uh, race track and, and with the way this guy was just pulling up on me like I just felt like I needed like to defend there and I defend way too much um, like I move under braking a lot um, so most of my accidents I do make videos about is my own fault and yeah going into that Kirby section and this guy just had rammed into the other guy in his spun out I think he retires after that um, so yeah making accidents causing accidents I think is honestly becoming less of a thing because I started to change my the way I make my videos because mainly we I'm involved with the accident that there's like like almost no accidents because I did try to clean up my driving significantly to the point to where it's like it's like no accidents happening and it's a bit boring unless I get myself into the B class, C class, uh, safety rating, and in those cases also like the guys or the people, it's just like ah, we're not gonna be about their life. And with this section, we just passed here with the corner there. In practice, I came very close to to kissing the wall there, but me defending super hard. And sometimes trying to outbreak myself is going to be a problem. I don't know why I tried to squeeze past this guy because it just made it it's made it worse for me. I could have just um, fallen behind him, and I would have been anyway behind him instead of now looking as if I'm trying to be aggressive for no reason. And as the race is nearing. Uh, to the halfway of this lap we are again into this high speed um, corner as the blue car is in my slipstream right now I was thinking about how I'm going to defend against it I think it's not clear on how am I going to defend against it because I know he has the better speed normally 
and slipstreaming with me would just lead me to um, the fiend and the fiend I did <laughs> and that defense is where I say me defending hard is my biggest problem and I didn't need to kiss that wall at all and now my race is all over <sighs> honestly I want to get this track and its other layouts more into um, more into rotation because I know when the few other tracks that I dropped out um, uh, when those tracks became part of the update and so now the McLaren sorry I'm cutting myself off but the McLaren is getting uh, all bent out of shape so yeah like comment subscribe give me some pointers on different cars I can actually use because I think I've used I'm using most of the meta cars during my races um, there's so one or two gems that I actually found for myself but I honestly would like to see um, or play with something else because at the end of the day nice work um, out there we finished P8. it's about having fun Forza isn't supposed to be like super serious but I also would like to maintain <laughs> at least some semblance of I can win races so yeah see you guys with some more Forza content have an awesome day